Hello friends, this is Sanjeev Kaushik and welcome to my channel Methodical Trades. In this video, I want to talk about some of the US stocks that I've been liking a lot and some of them are about to give a breakout and also some of the stocks that I covered in past and they have been performing really well. So I just wanted to bring your attention to those as well. First and foremost, I want to talk about S&P 500 because there's something very interesting happening on this index. So what you're looking at is the weekly chart of S&P 500 and if you see the closing that S&P 500 has given in the week that went by, this is the highest weekly closing that we have received since August 2022. In other words, we are at the nine month highs already. But right now we're actually nearing a very crucial resistance, which happens to be at the levels of 4200 to 4300. Right. So if this resistance were to be breached by S&P 500 on a weekly basis, then shorts will stop working. And the next level for S&P 500 would be 4,500, right? So S&P 500 is coming at a level where it can go past this resistance, which is not going to be easy, by the way, right? It's not going to be easy because it has already gotten a lot of resistance at this level. And we have seen that happening at least three times, once here, then here, then here. And now this is the fourth time and we'll have to see whether it's going to get lucky fourth time or not. So now that we have the month end as well, I want to bring your attention to the monthly chart of S&P 500 and I want to show you something. You see, last month, and I don't recall whether I ever covered this part in any of my previous videos, but if you draw this neckline here, you're going to see that there's a little bit of inverted head and shoulder breakout that already arrived. When that breakout arrived here in January, it was barely above the neckline. So I didn't really trust it much. But then when the breakout again came in March, then I started revisiting my shorts more often. And I realized that most of my shorts are not working. Even on the Friday that went by, there were a few shorts where they have been working for a long while, but they stopped working. Hasbro is one company. I'm going to show you that chart as well. So what it's telling me is that under the surface, this is definitely very solid buying interest. So an inverted head and shoulder breakout on a monthly chart is very, very strong and we will have to respect it, right? And how are we going to pay our due respect to the chart by making sure that we are being very, very diligent looking at every shorting opportunity with a little bit of suspicion, right? And even if we will go short, we'll try not to carry the position for very long duration, not be very generous with the targets, right? So try to be very conservative at the levels on which we are going to take our profits, right? So overall, things are looking good in general. Next week can be a little tricky. I am expecting a little bit of uh, pull down from the 4200 resistance level. But if over the course of week, we do see some kind of upside, then uh, you never know. 4200, 4300 can be a little bit of a fight, but it's going to be a very, very interesting fight. Okay, I want to talk about Hasbro. This is a stock where I have been short and I ended up taking a loss on it, right? So I've been short at very, very high levels, somewhere around 80s, um, 75s levels. And it's been doing well, but it started troubling me at this level. When it came to 53, my, at that time, stop loss was at 58 level and it then uh, went above 59 level. It even crossed 60 intraday. And I ended up taking my uh, loss on this. Because of its earnings, something happened, but keep an eye on it. I'm kind of inclined that it may not actually go all the way up. It still has lower lows and lower highs kind of a structure and that should continue. But again, I'm not going to short it again. I'll just wait and see how it's going to perform. Another short that has been working perfectly for me is Pfizer, but I would now look to actually take my profits off at some stage because it's been going down a lot. If you see this stock has pretty much given up all its gains since the pandemic, all that COVID vaccination things. 
right? So I've been short from these levels, 42 levels, 38. So I'm already earning 10% return on my short. So at some stage, I would look to uh, take my profits. Um, it has been falling consistently. Now I want to talk about Costco. And what you will see on Costco chart is very interesting consolidation happening, right? So I try to bring in the kind of charts where there is a potential of breakout over next few days or weeks, right? So this is one of those, which I would really like you to keep an eye on because it looks like it has a potential to move upside. It has earnings coming out on 23rd of May. And if the results would be positive, chances are you would see a breakout or in the anticipation of a good result, which Costco has been doing. It's been a multi-bagger already. So chances are markets may end up rewarding it really well. And if it goes out of this consolidation on the upside, then you're looking at a move of anywhere around 100 points from here. So it might go ahead and touch its all time highs around 600 levels. So something to keep an eye on. Now, I have covered McDonald's earlier as well. And you would see all these markings from the pre previous video where I covered it. It's not stopping at all, right? So the last time this kind of breakout happened, the stock kept on going up. This is a weekly chart again, right? And I'm seeing a similar story repeating. So it always helps looking at how the stock has been performing after it gives a certain kind of a breakout. And same thing is happening with McDonald's right now. It might face some kind of resistance at 300 levels. So we'll have to wait and watch what's happening. When I saw this breakout, I added on to my position and I've been holding it from 210 levels. The other stock that I spoke about and really like a lot is Monster, Monster Beverage. I'm not a great fan of their beverages though, but I want you to see how trusting a system works. You know, this breakout came here after this uh, strong consolidation that happened over here. So this green candle over here, let me zoom in a bit. So this green candle over here, we got a breakout, right? But then those who wanted to book their profits made the stock consolidate a bit for next three weeks. And then we are seeing a huge breakout over here. How huge? From 53 level, it has gone up to 56 level. So roughly a return of about 5%, right? So the stocks that are really solid, they may consolidate for a while, but then their upward journey would always continue. So one has to learn to keep trust because after taking the position, if you would have been long and looking at this red candle over here, you would have seen that, okay, fine. It has run up enough and now it's going to go down, right? But now next, see back-to-back -back hammers and then stock going up. So these stocks, they're really good. We should always look for opportunities to enter into uh, these kind of stocks at breakouts. Now I want to talk about CMG and I've been fascinated by its up move and bit of a disclaimer. This is one of my biggest positions across all my US invested accounts, if not the biggest. I've been always a hodler of this stock. I added to my position somewhere around 1550s level when the markets were really bearish around mid last year. And we saw a breakout coming in CMG even in this week. And the positions built on CMG are huge, right? So every time it forms a big candle like this, it usually keeps going up for at least two to five weeks, right? So this is another really fascinating stock, something that we have to keep an eye on and it always gives us opportunity to enter because after going up, it does consolidate a bit. And from there onwards, once we see the breakout, then that usually is the time to get the entry. Another very, very safe stocks that I want to cover, one of them is Pepsi. It has also gone to its all time high in this week. And the best part about Pepsi is that it also pays dividend of 2.4%, even at this level, right? And this is a classic chart where it's making higher lows with every dip. Right? So this is also another chart that is worth keeping an eye on. Every time an entry signal is generated, we should look to enter, right? And one similar chart, which I'm liking even more is Procter & Gamble. Now the reason for covering Procter & Gamble is because there's a potential inverted head and shoulder breakout, right? So we are almost nearing the breakout. I wouldn't say that the breakout has come, but if it does come, we are looking at a huge potential up move. It can even go 
beyond this resistance of 163 level and from here one can expect the levels of 180 right so something to keep an eye on Procter and Gamble really nice again a dividend yield on this stock 2.41 percent same as Pepsi every dip every entry opportunity in these stocks should be grabbed with both hands all right before we wrap up I want to share one sector that I covered in one of my previous videos you would already see my markings here and I covered it when this inverted head and shoulder breakout had come right and from there what we saw is the ETF did go up but from there it came down which is called a throwback or a pullback right and in this week again it broke out and it closed again at the highest levels seen since August 2022 pretty much like S&P 500 but the structure of XLC is much better so you see the technical analysts by and large are bullish on markets if they're not outright bullish at least they're not bearish however the fundamental analysts are still waiting and watching to see how the markets are going to perform so that's where we are right now technically if I'm looking at charts I am not seeing much of shorting opportunities my shorts have been giving me trouble and which is what has been happening every time a new bull market begins if I start seeing a lot of my shorts troubling me that usually is the time that I resort to selling puts only or going long in stocks and this is exactly what I'm planning to do in future unless of course we get some kind of material shorting sign in markets right now everything's looking good despite the fact that we have 4200 to 4300 very strong resistance for S&P 500 so this is all that I wanted to cover in this video do let me know in comments if there are any particular stocks sectors that you want me to cover in future videos and I will surely do that Thanks a lot and I'll see you soon.